Not while I am here. Raising a giant rock off the ocean floor, Kashima thrust the rock onto Namazu's back. With all his might, the catfish tried to get out from under the stone, but he could not free himself. Exhausted, Namazu lowered his tail in defeat. He was trapped, unable to create the smallest earthquake or even a tiny water wave. With Namazu safely imprisoned, Kashima rose to the surface of the water and met the young artist at the shore. It is done, Kashima announced. Thank you, the artist said. He gave the god an offering of fruit and flowers. The people of Edo came to the dock to sing Kashima's praises. I will stay below the ocean and make sure that Namazu doesn't break free, Kashima told the people. But I cannot watch him every minute of every day. There are times I must visit my shrines and accept my offerings. Kashima tilted his head toward a fishing boat that floated in the harbor. When I am gone, Abisu, the god of the fishermen, will protect the city. Ebisu is known to fall asleep on the job, the young artist reminded the god in a whisper. True, it has happened before. Kashima considered the problem. He looked out to sea, toward the spot where Namazu was secured under the rock. To the artist, he said, You must create an earthquake warning system. Design an image of Namazu and tell people to place it on road signs throughout Japan. It's important that the people know what to do if Namazu swishes his tail. I will begin the artwork right away, the young artist assured Kashima with a quick bow. Kashima bowed low to the men and women of Edo, then turned and disappeared into the sea.